Hi, so for today we are going to talk about 1001 Solve Integrals Part uh, 20 And this will be our Part 20 And today we are going to solve 5 problems at least So let's get started again with this uh, series So for now we are currently at number 119 So we are asked to find for the integral of x cubed dx all over Uh, x squared plus 1 so let me just rewrite I think I've used the okay. so we have x cubed dx all over x squared plus 1 so I'll change it so the very first thing that we're going to do here is the to actually separate okay, the uh, numerator and we're going to rewrite this as this Because we don't have any specific uh, uh, formula in solving this type of integral, so it is very uh, uh, advisable that we can separate the uh, numerator as this. So we have x minus x all over x squared plus 1 dx. So that if I'm going to cross multiply this, I will still be arri arriving at the same uh, numerator. So in this type of problem, I can use the uh, uh, summation and difference, sum and difference in technique of integral so that I have x dx minus integral of x all over x squared plus 1 dx. So it becomes simple. This becomes x squared all over 2. Meanwhile, what I'm going to do here is that uh, in this integral, as we can see, uh, we can uh, let uh, u as uh, x squared plus 1, right? And then we have du as 2x dx. So I have now du all over 2. We have x dx. Simple u substitution. So I have x dx equals du all over 2. Because that's my x dx. All over, we have uh, the u. So I can factor out 1 half. So I have 1 half integral of du all over u. We have x squared all over 2 minus 1 half ln of u plus c. Going back to its original variable, we now have x squared all over 2. Minus 1 half ln of, we have x squared plus 1 plus c. So this will be our final answer for this problem, 119. <clears throat> okay, so pretty easy but pretty tricky for the very first thing that we're going to do. What we have done here, again, is to separate this uh, integral into two integrals. So for the 120th problem, we have integral of x e raised to x dx. Okay, so for this problem, we are going to imply or use IBP. We have an algebraic function and an exponential function. So we're going to, to use integration by parts. And again, the priority in choosing u is liate, logarithmic inverse algebraic trigonometric and exponential so in this case we're going to use uv minus integral of vdu with a priority of choosing u as this order okay in this case we're going to use u as x because algebraic comes before exponential So, and then the du will be simply dx, and the, the remaining that would be my dv, which is e raised to x dx. So, if I get v by integrating both sides, I have e raised to x. <clears throat> so, now if I'm going to apply uv minus the integral of v du, this will be my answer. So, I have u, which is x, multiplied by v, which is e raised to x minus integral of v, which is e raised to x, and then du, my du would be dx. I have now x e raised to x 
minus the integral of e raised to x is e raised to x plus c. So I have now common factors, e raised to x. So I can factor it out, it becomes like this. Okay, so this problem uh, uses um, integration by parts because we are multiplied with two uh, functions, the algebraic and the exponential. <clears throat> All right. So for number 121, for this integral, we have y cosine of 4y dy. All right. So again, this is an integration by parts because we have an algebraic multiplied by a trigonometric. So the priority in choosing you would be algebraic first and then trigonometric, liate. So I have u equals y and the du becomes dy. Okay, uh, getting the derivative of the both sides. And whatever is left, that is your dv, which is cosine of 4y dy. Integrating both sides to get v, we now get <coughs> 1 fourth sine of 4y. Alright, so you use sub you substitution here, okay, then you get you have a correcting factor of one fourth because of the four y here, so that you have a v of one fourth sine four y. So using our formula uv minus integral of v du, we now have <coughs> u times b, we have u or y times one fourth sine of four y. Okay, minus integral of v, which is 1 fourth sine of 4y, and then du, which is still dy. So I have now 1 fourth of y sine of 4y. I can factor of 1 fourth here, and I have sine of 4y dy here. So if I do that, if I integrate this, Okay, if I integrate this, I'll be using, again, u substitution as 4y. Then my du would be 4dy. So I only need dy. So I have that. So integral of sine of u. And then my dy becomes du all over 4. So I can factor out, again, the uh 1 fourth, so this becomes negative 1 fourth times 1 fourth, then the integral of sine of u du. So upon doing that, we'll be having negative 1 all over 16, and the integral of sine okay, will become negative cosine of u plus c. So this becomes 1 fourth y sine of 4y, negative 1 all over 16 times negative. So it becomes positive 1 all over 16, cosine of u. But our u is 4y. So we go back to its original variable, y, and then plus c. So this will be our answer for this given problem. Okay, so it's pretty cool because uh, we have integration by parts. Right now, last meeting, we have uh, uh, problems involving uh, uh, yielding to inverse trigonometric function, I think. Right now, we are dealing with integration by parts. All right. So problem 122, I have integral of t squared cosine of t cubed dt so we uh, have an uh, we have an algebraic and we have a trigonometric so if you choose u as t squared that's the priority in choosing u okay and uh <clears throat> no this is not an ibp i'm sorry okay if we're going to notice i'm sorry we're going to notice t cube if we let that u, we have t squared. Okay, so again, that's that's a uh, careful analysis that you, be, you must uh, first uh, check if the integral can be a u substitution before jumping in into any 
uh, method. In this case, I overlooked it. We have t cube and we have t squared. So if I just let u as t cube, the du of that would be 3t squared dt, of which if I'm going to rearrange this integral, I'll be having cosine of t cube t squared dt, of which I have here. So if I'm going to separate it such that the right term becomes t squared dt, it's just simply u substitution. So I have integral of cosine of u, then t squared dt would be du all over 3. So I have one third integral of cosine of u. Okay, and that integral would be sine of u. Of which, okay, that sine or the u would be t cube. So that would be t cube plus c. Alright, so that's the answer for this problem 122. So it's not integration by parts because we have a function here, t cube, that if we let that as u, we have a t squared dt here. That won't be a problem. Okay? So for problem, last problem for this video, 123, we have integral of y ln of y dy. <coughs> okay? So obviously, this is an integration by parts. Okay? Because we have a logarithmic function and at the same time, an algebraic y. So we cannot just simply let u as y because the d of y is dy. We have a y here. If this becomes y squared, then that is u substitution. But it's not. Okay? So we have to have uh, IBP here. So our priority, since we have ln here, that's the ln liate. And the derivative of u would be dy all over y. Okay, the derivative of ln of y would be 1 all over y or simply d, dy all over y. The remaining dv would be the remaining 1, y dy. So integrate both sides to get v. So I have y squared all over 2. So that will be our v. Using uv minus v du as our formula for integration by parts, u times v would be ln of y times y squared all over 2 minus integral of v which is y squared all over 2 and then du would be dy all over y so just simplifying this we have 1 half 1 squared ln of y minus I can factor out 1 half here this becomes uh, cancelled so I have y dy in here so I have 1 half y squared ln of y here minus 1 half. I have y squared all over 2 plus c here. So our answer would be 1 half y squared ln of y minus 1 fourth y squared plus c. So this is our answer for this problem. Just a simple IBP and at the same time a simple uh, uh integration so yeah i hope you learned something from this video please don't forget to subscribe again this is injury abad see you again on the next video bye